Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the Earth. It houses 7 billion people, sustains 400 billion trees, and holds 326 million trillion gallons of water. And this water is used for so many purposes, like bathing, washing, preparing food, and most importantly, drinking. I mean, our bodies are made up of 70% water, so that means it's important, right? Without water, we couldn't live. And we're not the only things that need it. All plants, animals, and basically any living organism needs water to survive. And as the most intellectually advanced species on Earth, we humans have the responsibility of taking care of our water resources. As a result of industrial manufacturing, insufficient waste management, and everyday living, humans account for the largest percent of water pollution. It isn't good for anyone, and it takes a toll on our ecosystem, health, and economy. Take my story, for example. I live in Louisiana, and both our lifestyle and economy revolves around water. We sit right on the Gulf of Mexico, which empties into the Atlantic Ocean. The Louisiana Gulf Coast is home to hundreds of fish, crustaceans, turtles, and birds, and our economy thrives off the ecosystem. One in every 70 Louisiana jobs is in the seafood industry. Every day, thousands of people go out into the Gulf to catch shrimp, fish, oysters, and so much more to ship to restaurants and grocery stores all around the world. And because of our position in the Gulf of Mexico, our surrounding waters are also popular drilling spots for oil. But while the oil industry may be beneficial to our economy, it can be drastic to our ecosystem. One of the most recent disasters on the Gulf Coast was the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill. On April 20, 2010, an oil rig leased by BP exploded off the Louisiana Gulf Coast. The explosion caused 200 million gallons of crude oil to be released into the surrounding waters. The disaster was so severe that it took 87 days to cap the well. But even when the rig was brought under control, the oil in the Gulf was still wreaking havoc on the ecosystem. The Gulf current spread the oil up and down the coastline, polluting over 16,000 miles of shore. The oil drastically affected the ecosystem, causing rapid erosion and killing most of the surrounding plants. Worst of all, the toxicity of the oil caused a mass mortality of both fish and animals living in or near the Gulf. Being exposed to or ingesting any form of oil can be fatal to the wildlife. The oil, which floats on top of the water, intoxicates and suffocates fish. 1,270 species of fish were left defenseless to the onslaught of oil, and as a result, their populations swiftly declined. Even those that did survive passed on fatal birth defects to their offspring. Furthermore, birds who lived and hunted in the surrounding areas were covered in oil, which was very difficult to clean off naturally. The oil also had drastic effects for thousands of mollusks, turtles, marine animals, and crustaceans. Even today, the Gulf Coast ecosystem is still trying to recover from this disaster six years ago, but the animal populations still struggle to reach their original numbers. Because of the oil spill's effects on the wildlife, humans face negative consequences too. Both people who live near the Gulf of Mexico and those who helped to clean up the oil came into contact with the harmful chemicals emitted from the crude oil. These people developed a wide range of sicknesses, affecting different areas of the body. Even a chemical dispersant used to contain the oil caused negative health effects on humans, causing people to develop cancers and respiratory diseases. And not only did the oil spill affect our environment and health, it also damaged our economy. Because the oil plague gulf polluted and killed off most of the fish and crustacean populations, many fishermen were out of work. Even the sea life populations that were still intact were often deemed too unsafe to consume. Additionally, tourism along the coast severely decreased. Hotels encountered less business, seafood restaurants served less customers, and fishing charters could not even operate in the contaminated waters. Businesses were forced to close down, and Louisiana's economy suffered a huge loss. The Deepwater Horizon oil spill became the largest commercial oil spill in history, and everyone is still feeling its impact to this day. And my story isn't the only one. Oil pollution is way more common than you think. It doesn't just happen through oil spills. The oceans can be contaminated by oil in the form of runoff from cities, discharge from commercial ships, and industrial waste. So what the heck are we supposed to do about it? I mean, we personally can't stop industries from polluting our oceans or prevent accidental oil spills, but we can help push the world in the right direction. Here are some tips to help you become an advocate for our oceans. Step 1. Get educated. Read up on current events and be in the know about any reports of oil spills. Understand the harmful effects of oil pollution, and educate others on the dangers of oil spills. Voice your opinion on the state of our oceans to your peers, and maybe even try expressing it on social media. 
The more advocates we have for ocean pollution awareness, the stronger our cause becomes. Step 2. Lend a hand. If you hear about an oil spill in your area, try to help out in any way that you can. You can volunteer to be on a cleanup crew, assist in cleaning and rehabilitating the injured wildlife, or just donate money to a helpful organization. Step 3. Advocate towards cleaner forms of energy. Oil pollution would become so much less of a problem if oil and other fossil fuels were not in demand. Advocate towards reducing energy consumption in both the home and your workplace. The biggest step towards this goal is to push for developments in cleaner forms of energy, like solar power and wind power. With the people's help, we can develop a new form of sustainable energy that will power the world and be beneficial to the environment. So in conclusion, water is very important, and we need it, desperately. And as my story showed you, oil pollution poses a threat to the prosperity of our social, economic, and environmental systems. It's our job to protect our water resources. And if we stand together to push towards a better and cleaner future, oil pollution can become a thing of the past. Let's make sure that our friend Earth will remain prosperous for years and generations to come.